Hello and welcome everyone again into another video and today's video we are continuing pushing more videos about the team team I posted yesterday which is a team that nukes pretty hard like this team nukes everything and if you're watching like I'm using the Alga and I'm, if you're watching there I'm using Primal Groudon well technically that's a fake news I am I'm not using Primal Groudon because you actually cannot use Megas in Master League there was a bug one day and I, they actually decided like okay just don't allow megas in master league at all okay so we're running the alga groudon and ho oh, oh, this team is pretty much hits everything okay as long as you get the flights uh, out of the groudon's face nothing beats this pokemon this pokemon is just too op look at this matchup we have two flyers one of them has a rock move the other one doesn't so guess who wins point swaps to this is actually not not ideal if you if they swap in anything anything that takes a neutral from brave bird you brave bird and then you swap because this is a very awkward matchup for the alga giratina Algern, uh, giratina Algern. what is giratina Algern? giratina altered uh doesn't have a bad matchup and i am not playing it because just okay there is actually a bad matchup the bad matchup is groudon so now we go oh, oh i don't care about swap that much to be honest because yeah groudon gets walled by togekiss <laughs> wall yeah yeah sure uh <laughs> groudon actually wins the 1-0 so if i as, as long as i can have a shield for groudon i can win that opponent has a god chump what does that mean shit that means oh this is the it's fun enough this is the team i posted back when i used to use a, a free-to-play team and the team was togekiss uh togekiss giratina origin and garchomp two uh community day pokemons and giratina origin i call giratina origin budget because you don't need a hundo you actually can go with like 15 13 13 and you can use that so that's why i call it budget because because it's not like a very strict IB like the algo the algo you need a 15 15 14 uh, I have to shield here because this is an ancient power and it almost KO here. And then we're just gonna farm and then we're gonna throw in good timing. We're gonna go for the debuff if possible because any move KOs and I don't want to debuff myself. Okay, we're able to debuff them. We go for a Brave Bird. Look at this matchup. You guys thought I don't have an answer to God Chum in the back? How doesn't have a bad matchup? Okay, moving to the next one, playing Cry. And Cry is leading a Mewtwo. As I said before, in this matchup, if you get the attack fell, it's actually a decent matchup. If you don't, it's a neutral matchup. So, you always shield the first. You can actually play the zero as well. It's up to you. You can Brave Bird and dip. This team is pretty flexible. This is the most flexible team in the world, built by the best player in the world. So, nothing can go wrong with this team. Okay. We don't, I don't need to shield this. And I think, I think I can outpace by one turn right there so this is like one of the good thing about throwing good timing and now there is no point of saving this ho oh to be honest and opponent actually throwing on a smart timing and now all i'm doing is i am gonna farm this is gonna be a bait yeah yeah nice call yes yeah, okay so they have a yevil tail so i'm just gonna commit for the draco okay so now we have a dark pulse three okay that was actually a fine play. I could have done like two more Dragon Breaths, but it's not the end of the world. And now we have a Groudon into a Groudon. So all I need is just to land this. If I land this, I am good. If I don't, uh, we're not good. So what do we do? We just keep throwing charge moves. I'm expecting the opponent to catch here, but it's... Yo, under charge, under... Oh my, dude, I didn't under charge. Why didn't I just under charge? what's wrong with me if i under charge literally i could have won just by oh my uh this actually okay we're gonna pretend that this battle didn't exist okay well you can just learn from the opponent in that battle okay under charge was actually Melaweta is is low key the best core breaker in the entire master league meta i say that uh oh is the best core breaker but that's the, core, the best core breaker that i have because nothing appreciate uh oh moveset okay uh oh can always hit everything but look at Meloweta taking sacred fire like a champ throwing another move again putting the uh oh is actually at like okay a point like did a uh, low key a miss a misplay there and they gave me end up giving me lots of energy so we come back strong okay now what do we do i'm just gonna throw this babe babe but if they let me so do i shield nah 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 you know why 
Because Groudon is about to feast. Okay, Groudon going against Zacian. Getting... Okay, Zacian throwing a move. And I'm anticipating a swap. Playoff coming in here. Okay, we try to over farm. Opponent catching on, an, on a poor man Zacian. Well, it's no longer the poor man Zacian. It's actually the better Zacian. And Groudon throwing a pet surprise played here on the... On the exit in yes and i decided to shield because why not i decided to no shield because why not and now what do we do we farm all the way down yeah 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 you guys thought that deer is going to be capable of killing this dragon that made of steel no you can't okay we're about to farm down and now opponent proceed to top left and lose that game i'm going to this the next one we have another muto what is happening everyone's leading muto uh, to be honest, the Muto is not as, as good as it used to be in level 40. In level 40, Muto was crazy good. In level 50, it actually a bit underwhel underwhelming because stuff here are bulkier and you don't you cannot fast move down things. So Pokemons that are good are the Pokemons that have decent fast move pressure and decent charge move pressure. What about the Groudon answer? Shut up. Groudon is a special case. Groudon has pet surprise play, dude. It's literally the most OP charge move in the game. Uh, I actually let them KO me here because now I'm about to go Dialga, swap to Xerneas, and opponent here is swap to Shiny Xerneas. I can't even look at this. Shiny Xerneas with these lights going up all the time. Okay, Pet Surprise Plate coming in here and doing so much damage. Now we're just going to throw the Fire Punch if we can. If we can't, we're just going to Dragon Breath down. So it's up to the opponent to decide. I am going to farm him down and then Pet Surprise Plate, whatever comes in. No, I was aware. What if they brought bring him Mewtwo, huh? I'm not going to throw that. And now bringing... Why didn't I commit? I am sure I can live two Snarls. Oh, no, 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 it's that thing. Okay, we see Evil Tal, and we all know that all Evil Tals nowadays run Oblivion Wing or whatever that move name is. Uh, throw on bad timing, that's not ideal, but they don't have Focus Plus, so it doesn't matter. Okay, moving into the next one. Okay, we have battle number three, I think. Uh, how do you guys like Master League? I actually have been enjoying Master League the last two seasons because I was finally able to build two teams. Uh, after three years of grinding master league like i've rated every good legendary so so for people who haven't okay this is a horrible lead that's what an algorithm believer would say an algorithm believer would say this is a gg kyogre beats ho oh beats also the back line i have the alga they 100 percent have a dialga answer yes that's what the algorithm believers would say i have something different i don't top left i don't believe in that you know why because i believe that my ho -Oh lives surf plus the waterfall to go to the surf and it can throw a brave but if they no shield i'm gonna go to the alga if they swap out i'm gonna blind and bring the ground on now what do we do pet surprise plate number one okay now we know shield what do we do we shield we farm down one two three Horrible play. Why am I throwing this? Yo, you just need a fire punch. I wasn't looking. Guys, I was playing literally at the airport and these battles were recorded like 4 a.m. Yeah, see guys, that was that's my flight ticket. If you wanna <laughs> Yeah, we called I actually went like I actually needed to call the bait there. But the acid moon blast is not a bait. It's actually the more expensive. Yes, it's the more expensive, but I needed to no shield that moon blast to win this game. So Decide to no shield there. And now opponent's wing con is to farm me down. I am not going to let him. I'm going to keep farming. Okay, they threw close combat. And now they are in fire punch range. Groudon taking two fairies down. They swap into Kyogre. We don't care about this. You know why? Because fire punch is enough. Okay, I know I threw a uh, surprise played that game. Groudon took out Zacian and Kyogre and Xerneas. That's how OP is this, this Pokemon is. I'd be like, oh, yes, you're happy ring because you're playing an OP Pokemon. Well, try it and win with it. Wow, yes, it's toxic to the viewers. Why would you do such a thing? Well, dude, I love that. Nothing makes me feel better than trash talking my, my, my chat on Twitch at twitch.tv slash yes, it'll So make sure to, to, give, to give a follow and 
stop by the stream whenever you see uh, you see us live. I can't go live today, I think. Opponent swaps. As I said, Brave Bird then dead. Why are you not doing that? He answered. It was 4 a.m., my friend. It was 4 a.m. Okay. It's like going for ones at 4 a.m. What what do you want to say? Ah, dude, I, I, I forget. I don't know. Okay, we're throwing an iron head here. Opponent shielding. What does that mean? I mean I'm not shielding. Why? Because I love this. Well, now they are in two incinerated range. And I love this. Nothing not, nothing feels better than farming down something with with resisted incinerate. So you can leave the matchup. So I swap there because he can actually get to a move and opponent here. Having a Kyogre in the back. I don't have my Dialga anymore. So there is no way I can beat that team. So we give them the win. Now we move to the next one. We have a Xerneas lead. And they swap into Lugia. So whatever they do, you always Brave Bird and Dip. Why I'm not brave birding and dipping? Okay, we didn't get the, the, the thing. Uh, Lugia players always air blast. I swear this is like this was like the best yeah, nice timing. This was the best bait for him. Because there is no way I'm staying in and I'm not baiting. Uh, I don't need to shield at this point. Okay. Now I can actually I wanted to bank a move and then swap out. Now I don't care what they do. Because all I know is that whatever he has is going to get put surprise played. Okay. Groudon is about to feast on this trainer. Okay. We throw Iron Head number one. And this should grab a shield. This one should grab a shield. Okay. They can't just let both go. Huh? Okay. Doesn't matter. Okay. Moving on. That's why they will lose. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Brave Bird coming in here, getting shielded. This is amazing. Groudon is gonna love this. We no shield here, and we go Groudon. Groudon has is up a shield, and opponent so cute trying to catch a move. I am not throwing, my friend. I am not throwing. I'm gonna over farm. Throwing on two, so the second Dragon Tail doesn't register, and Fire Punch should KO here. We have a Giratina now, and Giratina is gonna take a Pet Spice Blade to the face, and Pet Spice Blade level slice Blade. Pet Spice Place does so much damage, and we should take that game. See, guys, if they listened to me and they shielded, could have won. Uh, okay, I think I gave a lecture up last time about this lead. Uh, this Pokemon beats my lead, beats my swap, beats my Groudon. What do we do? We top left? No, we play the game. Okay, as I said before, Landorus leads are weak to Groudon in the back. So, uh, I shield in this matchup for one reason. Just to chip the Landorus. Just to chip the Landorus. Uh, you're supposed to throw Brave Bird here, but don't mind me. I do some unique stuff sometimes. And it was 4 a.m. Yes, you've said this a million times. Yeah, it was 4.05. Okay, is that better? Yeah, it was 4.05, chat. Now, what do I do? I'm actually going to stay in. No, I'm going to swap. Because at this point, they are almost in Fire Punch range. So, what did I do in this play? I get shields down, so it doesn't matter what they have. An opponent is bringing here. I over -fund. I did 8 mud shots after they brought the Dialga. They, because they get to move in eight and, 8 and a half. So now, I trust me. There is something in the back that takes super effective from Groudon. Groudon, Pet Spice Blade, taking a second Pokemon. And it's a Zekrom bringing the third Pokemon. And Fire Punch should do enough. Groudon, 1v3, their entire team. This Pokemon is just... Too good of a Pokemon. I freaking love this Pokemon. We're playing Kassa. Kassa is leading Groudon because he thought like this Pokemon is so OP. But guess what? It loses to Ho-Oh. That's why I have Ho-Oh in the lead. So I don't get cheesed by Groudon. The way I'm cheesing my opponent's seed. Uh, that was not the greatest. I usually shield here. But it's a Shadow Muto. You know what that means? That means this thing gets Dragon Breath all the way in the one shield. I need to shield one here. Hopefully this is not a side strike. Well, Shadow Muto always side strike. I don't know why they run Shadow Ball. If you run Shadow Muto, you need you need you need Ice Beam. Or if you're home slice Henry, you can run Hyper Beam and lose your games. <laughs> Did I watch Henry Henry's video running um, Hyper Beam Muto? And he wanted to run that thing so badly because he wanted to prove everyone wrong. <laughs> he wanted to prove that Shadow Muto is good with Hyper Beam, <laughs> and he ended up. 
Uh, he didn't do well with that. <laughs> we're safe, guys. He didn't do well. Okay, so we're, we're, we're not the long ones. Okay, my Groudon versus opponent Groudon. Who's the better Groudon player? Let's see. I called the bait. Oh my god, that's so good. Yeah, I said, how did you do it? I just clicked on shield. That's how I did it. Okay, Pets Fast Player coming in here. Uh, this is a Pets Fast Player. There's no point of them baiting at this point because they will die to the next mod shot. And then they bring Malmetal. Fire Punch can do it. But no, I want Pets Fast Player everything. This video is sponsored by Pets Fast Player. Just put spice played everything. Okay, hot on to Gratina. As I said, this is a bad matchup, but hot o doesn't have a bad matchup. So you always Brave Bird and then dip. Dip to what? Tip to the Alga. What do you do after? You're about to see. Stop asking questions, my friend. Okay. They shadow ball. We don't shield. Them throwing a move is actually good for me because if they have a fairy in the back, that means they will be forced to throw. And they are forced to throw and they threw. Now what do we do? We over farm. The, the bad thing about over farming with Ho-Oh is that you only leave with one incinerate worth of energy. So I'm just going to throw Brave Bird for the sake of saving energy here. Okay, they should bring in the Giratina. So what do we do here? What do we do here? Okay, we throw the Brave Bird. No, we just swap because I was like... I watched someone on Twitch name the Pokemon go and he doesn't throw a move that overkills. He would always uh, that he would always prefer to swap out. Because if the move overkill, that means you did some if we do the math, that means uh, half of the move was wasted. That's like the simplest explanation. If you throw a move that does 80% on something that's 10%, then that's not an efficient way of managing your energy uh make sure to give him a follow he actually have some what did i do yo yasir why did you do an incinerate well yo trust me groudon can still sweep we're counting here okay i know how to count to to seven in this game and now what do we do we put spice plate again and groudon taking these teams like this is this is an easy mode to count okay i guess Okay, thank you so much everyone for watching. Hope you hope these battles were entertaining for you. And if you like it, please leave a like and do the channel, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Peace.